So guys, I forgot about guidelines. So we're doing this again. This is this live feed. So yes, my mother is in the hospital. She does have the coof. I forgot. I forgot about all these little rules that YouTube has. So my mother does have the coof pandemic. Uh, so just to reiterate that one, and it doesn't look like this live feed's gonna actually work where I can actually get people coming in. I uh, forgot about the guidelines. YouTube immediately informed me that I had to review that video. Uh, so I just took it down. I forgot about the regulations and guidelines. There is no way there's one person here and three likes. So that tells me that this is probably not working properly. So if you guys can see this, please comment and let me know that you're actually able to comment because that's, there you go. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because usually when I see that. So anyway, she's in the hospital. Uh, yeah. So I forgot about the guidelines. Um, uh, she is in the hospital. My sister technically is on quarantine, I guess, to make sure she does not have the coof. Um, and like I said, I, ca I can't, I can't even go back anyway. Quarantine. So, with that being said, we're going to redo this. So I was, uh, I got that guys. Sorry about that guys. My phone rang. Uh, we're just going to put that on Do Not Disturb because the fact is, we're just going to put it on Do Not Disturb. The fact is, I don't want to talk to anyone today. So, sis, if you need to talk to me, text me first. Uh, I'm not talking to anyone today. So, um, yeah, like I said, I got a new tripod. I got a professional-grade tripod. You guys that support the channel, we're going to take a quick look at it. We'll turn this around, and I'll show you. Uh, I'm, I'm more antisocialer than usual myself yeah same here so like i said please don't mind the mess the wife and i are going through a bunch of stuff we, we just talked about that earlier stuff that's going to be uh this is a 70 inch neves this is a 70 inch i'll send you the information about this is a 70 inch professional grade tripod self-leveling feet there is no play in this thing this thing is rock solid uh so it actually extends all the way up to here which is taller than me, but this actually comes out and this is, this is what they call a monopod. So you can use it like this as a selfie stick. All you have to do is just turn things around. You use this as a selfie stick, but you can also extend this down as a monopod and shoot like this. So you don't have to take the entire tripod. And then that just drops back down in here. And it comes with the really nice and flat level uh, phone mount because I shoot all my stuff on my phone. So no joke, super, super nice Neves. I'll send you the info. It's, I, I have to just go to, go to Amazon and look up the Cobra Tech. It's actually almost too big. Like, at its lowest, at its lowest, it's still taller. Let's get my old tripod. Cobra Tech. So this tripod was an upgrade for my old one. And as we can see here, it was not great. It was still better. Here. It was still better. I'm, I'm working on it, guys. I'm sorry. K-O-B-R-A. Tech. There you go, Neves. So at its tallest, this one. I don't feel like talking about it today. That's that's not that's not what this is about. Well, I'm sick. I'm not in a in a big answer and a bunch of questions mood that, that just always turns into an argument. Some people will say they're overhyped, some people will say that they're great. I'm not going to get into arguing about opinion. So that's basically what it'll come down to. So this tripod that I was using, not doing it. I don't want to talk. 
Don't ask me those questions. Like I said, my mom's sick. She's in the hospital. That's not what this is about. I wanted to talk to you guys and thank these guys for the tripod. I've done plenty of videos about what my favorite steels are. I I'm not trying to be an ass, but just that's where we're at today. I might even turn comments off. I, I don't even, I'm not going to answer all these questions. Like I said, my mom's sick. She's in the hospital. That's what this was about. Go back, catch the beginning. So at any rate, this tripod was the one we were using until just now. I, it's, I mean, opened up all the way. It's way smaller. And then the only thing I liked, I like, I wish that this one had, this one has a crank where you can raise this up. Let me just open this all the way up. So at its tallest, it's not as tall as this one is at its lowest. So uh, with that being said, I mean, I can always adjust the height because the height of this one was just about perfect for the videos. So I know you guys like to ask questions about stuff like that, but that's just today's not, I'm not in a thinking about stuff kind of mood right now. Like I said, my mom's in the hospital. I don't know what's going on. She's got the coof pandemic is even out in that small area of the country that she lives in. So I'm, I apologize if like, I just didn't, I, I don't want to be rude, but I just don't feel like, I just don't feel like that. That's not what I want to talk about today. Um, so I wanted to thank the guys. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I do like the fact that I can put this, I can just hang the remote for my phone from it from the tripod and just have it there. I can just hang it there and then I can pull it. And um, because I'm, I'm, this remote actually works really, really well. The little click button remote, it seems to be working really well. It's a little Bluetooth remote. So, so I don't lose it, I'm just gonna hang it there. But my wife has informed me that with that tripod being as large as it is, it can't stay in the kitchen all the time like the old one did. The old one did not have much of a footprint. That one takes up a significant amount of space. So this is the old one. This one might wind up becoming turned into a road trip tripod. Like just keep it in my car so that I have a tripod when I go to the shop and things like that, which I'm probably gonna go to the shop tomorrow and work for a little bit. I'm, I'm working on handles for a knife for our friend Matthew. I have not been in the greatest of moods for a long time. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm locked in this house. You know? So this tripod does fold up nice and small, but it's just, it's, it's, it's rickety. This thing does not, you can't keep it level. It's hard to move. The pivot points on it are really stiff. That actually has like little spots for maintenance where you're supposed to open it up, put a drop of oil in like this little hole. Like open that screw up, drop a hole. Open that screw up, put a drop in the hole. So much better tripod, but it is massive. So, now, I will answer what's my favorite steel. My favorite steel, usually, I'd say uh, 20 CB M390, 204P, those. There's a whole bunch of steels out there, but I, I think it's like, it might be like to, to weight it down, like to put a, tie it to a weight or something like that. I don't know. I do know I like the idea of the monopod where I can take that out and use it as a selfie stick, that's gonna come in handy for little things like if, if I'm going for a walk and I'm doing a live feed on, on Instagram, but I haven't done that for a while. What's up, Ethan? Um, so yeah, like I said, with my mom being sick, if you guys are trying to get in touch with me, don't expect a response. I'm gonna keep my phone on Do Not Disturb. Um, I'm gonna try and, you know, figure out exactly what's going on. Um, so, but yeah, she did come back with a positive test for the COOF. So, we're reshooting this. Basically, this was just to inform you guys of what's going on. My wife and I, we, we may film, I like might put the tripod up and just do some filming of us just goofy. Like I said, when we bought this house, this was, we had not intended to buy this house. We were renting this house. We bought it from our landlord because it was what was in our price range and what was available. Originally, we had a house, a much better, much nicer, much larger house um, that we had already gotten an accepted offer on that we were going to purchase. Um, and then the market, the price in the market changed and we could no longer afford that house when we got priced out of the market because our accepted offer sat for so long that the bank was like, we're not, we're just not doing it. 
So we had purchased stuff in prep for moving. We had stuff that we, we kept and had gotten that were larger, that would have fit that house better. The larger kitchen table, the larger couch. Now granted that came from our friend Joe, but we would not have kept it if we had been planning on staying in this house, but that offer on the other house got declined. So we have a bunch of stuff that we need to go through because we just have run out of room because the new stuff that we've gotten is larger and takes up more sp space. And so we have tons of stuff that we basically have just been holding on to that we just can't use. Um, we've got stuff we've, we haven't, I've got boxes of stuff in the garage, like I said in the last video, that has been there for years and never been touched. And so what we're going to do is my wife was off all week this week. I'm off until like April. Um, everything's shut down. It's not like we can go anywhere. There's curfews. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through that stuff. We're going to pick out the stuff we don't need. And I'm going to take the stuff to the Goodwill drop off and just drop it off like a couple times this week. And if there's anything cool that I find that I'm not gonna ever use again, I may put it up on the channel as a giveaway, you know? So I do have the special giveaway that we're gonna do for the fact we hit a million views and we are just like eight subscribers shy of the 5,000 mark. So I'm gonna do those both together. I have a special item I'm gonna do a giveaway for. Um, I've been holding it for a while so we will do that. I'm going to try and get that. I'll just see how it goes. When I hit 5,000, I'll go ahead and do it. But the problem is we've been hitting like 4,992 and then it drops back down to 80 and then it gets back up to 92 and it drops back down to 80. So I don't know exactly what's going on with the numbers. But like I said, for those of you that do pay, you members, you bought that tripod for me and I really really appreciate it that is the it is a super super nice professional grade tripod uh we'll see how it holds up it it is way nicer than any of the other ones we're talking Matt gave me this one this is I looked him up these are like 12 bucks the other one I was using when I first got it it was basically free I think I got it for like five bucks um this one was closer to the hundred dollar mark this was cl much closer to the hundred dollar mark than like I didn't think I would spend a hundred dollars on it. What's up, Chris? So Chris is back home in Ohio too. So yeah, but like I said, for me to even try and drive home, uh, it wouldn't make sense. Uh, there's curfews a lot of places. Um, hey, Ethan, the last video I, I got, I had to take it down. YouTube advised me that I had violated their regulations. Um, and I, I, I knew, but I forgot that I couldn't mention the actual name of the horrible, horrible affliction. So at any rate, yeah, that, that was, uh, that's why we're doing this again. So that tripod, much, much nicer. I'm going to, I'm going to shoot some videos on it. I might shoot a video today. I don't know. It depends on what time my wife gets up. She's really tired. She stayed up late last night. Um, I think she was talking to her parents in Japan. So, uh, when she gets up, we're going to start going through that stuff upstairs. I do have a video I was planning on shooting. Stonefish or the sea snake? Stonefish been out for a while. You want a glimpse of what's coming up soon? That's coming. We'll do a video about that soon. Oh, you got both. Nice. Did you use my coupon code to get um, to get uh, five percent off on the sea snake from Artisan? Because if you didn't, you could you could go back and get another one. Mine is uh, mine is laying around here somewhere. I broke the chain on mine. I caught it on something. So. I caught the chain on something and broke it. Uh, okay. Uh, why, why? Because the fact is that the stonefish is a venomous fish and the sea snake is a venomous snake. And the cousin of the sea snake is a habu, which is a venomous, venomous land snake. I, I caught mine 
uh, I had it around my neck and I stood up and I caught it on a drawer pull and just yanked the chain. It just snapped the chain completely. So I'm going to have to find another beaded chain. Venomous. So, Jared, I shot the video about the Buck Marksman. Uh, it's, it's coming back to you soon. Uh, like I said, just let me know. I was thinking about throwing this one in with it. Free to review. Uh, I will, uh, it gets used a lot. I'll try to think about throwing a fresh edge on it for you. That way you're not getting knives that are substandard sharpening. It's the Mastiff. I like it. Uh, I, the only problem I have is I carry this knife so much <laughs> that I would feel naked without it. It spends, this spends a lot of time in pocket. It, you'll be surprised. For as large as this knife is, it carries really, really, really well. So, yeah, I'll get this sharpened up and sent off to you here before too long. Uh, I'll put a... Uh, I'm not going to put one of those 3,000... Uh, I'm not going to put one of those plus 3,000 grit, like 8, 10, 12,000 grit edges on this thing to send to you. I'll just put like a 1,000 like grit edge. That's what I usually put on most of the knives that I'm going to use for... For anything like this cuts cardboard this this cuts really well cuts like champ um it gets a lot of time uh but i have kind of refrained from doing that now because i love that that uh uh i love that the finish on the blade so i've quit cutting cardboard but i will tell you it does a great job uh cutting I really, I just like the aesthetic of this knife, I think, is one of the big things, too. Not only is it really comfortable, it's, it's really functional, and it's attractive. It's just, it's a pretty good package. Like, I think they really, I think that a lot of people missed out on this knife uh, because it didn't get publicized real well, but it is a really attractive knife, and for as big and bulky as it is, or seems, it's really well-balanced. I like a little bit of tip forward weight, and it's comfortable in hand. It really, really is. And so that's that's one of the things people are like, oh, you just like, I'm not usually a fan of the big cleavers. There's a couple out there that I liked. I always liked the, uh, next week, field dressing a deer. I don't know how well the, I don't know how well the stonefish is gonna do with that. It doesn't have as much belly as like an actual, like skinning knife. But you let me know. I, I had a buddy that did an elk, I believe, with it. I don't remember. It's a good bit bigger than a sheepdog. I actually showed it next to a sheepdog. I mean, it's got some belly, but it, I mean, it's, I, I feel dressed Like this, this would not, this would not do well. So, tell you what, my number one pick of folding knives for 2020 would, my Minax would do great at skinning, I think. So anyway, guys, that's it. I just, like I said, I wanted to thank the members, the paying members for the fact that you guys basically, when I got my paycheck from YouTube here a few days ago from you guys paying. I took, I took a chunk of it and I bought the tripod. Uh, so I just wanted to like the, the better the, your equipment, the better, uh, the better the quality is going to be. So there's going to be, there should be less shake with that. I should be able to get like some different angle shots. Is it almost too tall? Kinda, but I think at a show it's gonna come in handy where we can get a better angle, more like eyes down at a knife show if I take that. Um, so, you know, who knows? Who knows? So, guys, I'm gonna get off of here. I'm, I'm already worn out having to deal with emotional things, you know. I'm, ambulance taking my mom to the hospital 40 miles away, so. You guys take it easy. I love y'all. See you next time.